What is up, Keller Williams Agents? It is me, Sam Jackson, and I'm going to show you how to change the uh, forwarding from your GoDaddy account. So if you're uh, updating your website or you want your website to redirect to a different website, I'm going to show you how to do this via GoDaddy. So this is only for uh, those of you who have purchased their domain through GoDaddy. So I'm going to start by just signing in. And yeah, let's start by signing in. I have to do the same thing here. I'll just change one of my channels here. I got several. Cool. But once you're signing, it's going to take you to a screen that shows you your um, your websites that you have here. So let's use my samueljackson.com. So pick whatever website you have, but you're going to see your spot where you can see domains. Uh, another way that you can access this would be by clicking on your name in the top right hand corner and then going to my products. Uh, so if you don't see it on your main dashboard, you can click on your name and go to products. And let's do this for the Sam Jackson or Samuel Jackson one down here. So I'm going to pick this domain and choose yours. And what I'm looking for is a spot that says DNS. So I'm going to scroll through here. It's almost at the bottom, but I'm going to click on the spot that says manage DNS. And uh, GoDaddy is a little bit different for everyone when you log in. So if you're seeing a different screen, just know that ultimately this is the button we're looking for, the one that says Manage DNS. Cool. Now, a lot of this isn't going to make a difference. We don't need to look at these settings. If you scroll a little bit further, though, there's going to be a spot that says Forwarding. And this is what we have. So right now, mine's already set up. But let's go ahead and click the Edit button. And this is how we change it. So if you're using the command websites, I'm going to change my forwarding. Now, if you're using the command, there's a couple of really key things that we want to make sure that we have selected here. So number one is we want to make sure on this choice here for our dropdown, we want to use HTTPS, S as in Sam. And then what you'll do is you'll put your website here. So for a lot of you, it's going to be your um, your first and last name or your team name or whatever, .kw.com. Notice that there is no www, and because we have this box selected here, the HTTP is already inputted. So this is really just the whatever.kw.com. So in my case, it's samjackson.kw.com. Um, we do want to make this permanent, and uh, I would not recommend doing forward with masking. We've learned that this actually hurts uh, what it is you do on Google with the SEO content. Google kind of he doesn't like that algorithm, but you want to keep this as permanent 301. You want to do it without masking, so don't choose that option. But 301 is what we want to do, and hit save. Now, I believe GoDay is going to give us some language here that says, hey, this can take up to 36 hours for this to kick in. So this may not work immediately, so don't stress out. But um, this should work as expected that uh, within 36 hours, usually a lot less, my domain will get forwarded. So if I type in samueljackson.com, it'll take me to my website. Cross our fingers, and again, it can take some time, so don't stress. And yeah, it worked pretty pretty much instantly. It could be because I already had it set up that way, but uh, either way, that's the process of going inside of GoDaddy. You want to manage your DNS and get that uh, forwarded inside of that setting on GoDaddy. If you have any questions, as always, you can find me on KW Connect through Kelly, uh, through Command, add me into your contacts, if you will, or just hit the uh, comment button down below in this video. I'd be more than happy to walk, um, walk you through and help you out with that one. Uh, thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and as always, stay in command. See ya.